Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. I will have you guys know that I remembered my water bottle and my headphones today, but my headphones case was empty. I left them on the table. Merry Christmas, honey. Snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens with sleigh There's a ring in when December is Where the children are singing, yeah You cannot kill Frosty. He's been nothing but good to you. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. I had to take a nap right after Koto went to work. I was feeling great at the gym, but when I got home and I sat down and I started editing yesterday's Vlogmas, I all of a sudden hit a wall, which is normal. Like it happens, but like this time it felt like I was gonna drop. I was like, Whoa. I tried to push through it, but I decided if my body was fighting me this bad, I really, really needed some rest. So I went and took a three hour nap. So it is now 10.30 and I feel much more rested. I am trying to get the advent stocking tree done. I'm gonna put it here next to my TV. This is only three of the rungs, I guess you would call them, three rungs. And then I think I might make like a star for the top. I'm not really sure yet. I feel like it's gonna be looking kind of empty there at the top. So I tried to just do it with like the limbs sitting on thumbtacks, but I don't think that's gonna work out. It's not looking very sturdy. So I am going to attach them all with string and then put a nail at the top. And I think I'm also going to wrap some pine garland around them. I think that'll look real cute too. I've got the Wandering Pearl here on Vlogmas, and I am just gonna try to attach these together. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm not loving it. I don't think I like the strings. So I may try to find some alternatives to just put those limbs on the wall instead of having the strings. But it's gonna work for right now because we're starting the 12 day advent soon. So now let's see if the stockings are going to hold all of the things that I got. Okay, so we got two scratch offs. Bath bomb. Lindor chocolate and a Reese's tree. And a Keurig cup. Okay, so the Keurig cup is very wonky. I'm gonna put it in the foot of the next one to see if it's better. Okay, so I got three done. And I actually like the way they're fitting in there. And I really like having the candy sticking out of the top. I think that's so fun. But yeah, I could only get a three finished right now because I gotta get ready for work. Uh, but they're fitting perfect in there, actually. The Keurig cup is in the toe, and then the bath bomb is in the foot, and then everything else is up in the leg. So, perfect! Well, I just got in my car to go to work, and apparently my battery is dead. Allegedly. 
I'm not really sure that my battery's dead. It's acting real weird, but the light is on. Don't make no sense to me. So Cuddle Bear is on his way. He's gonna give me a jump. Hopefully that fixes it. Really don't want my car to be out of commission right now. My God, I'm gonna have to get new posts and connectors. These things look terrible. Coda to the rescue! It's running! Thank you, Coda! I said thank you! SL all wheel drive. I don't know where this boy learned his manners from. It was indeed the battery. Thank goodness. Now we are back in business and on our way to work. If any of these cars let me out, jeez. Low battery. And I hit the low power mode. Does anyone else hate the low power mode? I really just like it. I feel like it kills my battery faster. It's probably like physically impossible, but that's the way it seems to me. So I get mad when I accidentally hit it. So then I have to go turn it off. What a freaking day. How'd it go? The freaking sockets are too small. Oh, he I came to work to ch socket set to freaking fix that battery. He came to work to change my battery. He's so sweet. But the socket set is wrong, I guess. He's too good to me. I got something for you, Max. <laughs> Not you, Maggie. That's for the Max. He's awful curious about it. Ah! Stop that. You left your bone over there, Maggie. There you go. Now you can get here, Max. You want it on the ground? Wow. Well, Maggie, do you even know what to do with that? time on Ravelry than I should have. I was curious about the Korean poncho. If you haven't seen it, I'll do a pop-up right here. Um, it's just very basic, like, in its design. So I was like, 
very curious, like, what was drawing people to it, you know what I'm saying? And you know, there are a surprisingly small amount of ponchos available like this. Most of the ponchos I'm finding are like, and the reason I'm like so interested in this is because of the poncho that I'm knitting, and also because I've been seeing a couple of vlogmases where people are knitting this. And I was like, what does this look like? Like, I need to see. So I looked it up and yeah, it's like mainly stockinette stitch and then it's got ribbing on top and bottom and it looks like um, either just like a stitch column or it's a slip stitch column down the center. I'm always interested like when I see designs like this, like what's drawing people to them, you know? Um, I'm still not entirely sure um, why, I mean, I would knit this. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, but I'm wondering, like, what's flooding people here, you know? Other than the fact that, like I just said, like, there's really not a lot of poncho designs available like this that are just, like, super simple. It's got some raglan increases. It's got, like, that, um, that ribbed collar up there. A lot of the ones I'm finding either have cables or some kind of lace work or they're um, the two squares that are sewn together. I was not expecting, I was expecting to find more ponchos that were similar to this, but not really, no. But after looking at these ponchos and seeing the ones that are done like two uh, rectangles that are like sewn together, I think I might frog the one that I'm doing because I'm really not sure if... Whiskey? She's being mean to Maggie. Yeah, I think I want to switch to the rectangular sewn together type. First of all, I think it'll look super cute with this design. And also, it makes me feel a little more safe. Because I'm not entirely sure that two shawls sewn together with some ribbing um, and a hole for the neck with a collar is going to work out. And I don't want to put all kinds of work into this just to find out that, that, that it doesn't work. Other than that, I am drinking some tea. I put some honey in it. I'm still like not 100%. I cannot kick this cold. I don't know what's going on. My grandma used to put honey in tea for me. And it always reminds me of her whenever I drink tea with honey. I was able to finish my glove at work tonight. I was about to put the other thumb on the other glove when I saw what time it was and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get all of my closing stuff started. And then I had a rush right after that. So I had to pretty much like stop knitting at that point. So I'm about to do that other thumb hole and it's almost 10 PM. So I don't think I'm gonna get all of these thumb holes done tonight, which is very upsetting. But hopefully tomorrow I'm not gonna need a three hour nap. And I'm gonna be able to just get those done. But if you're into the Korean poncho, go grab it. I mean, it's really cute. It's really simple. Everybody's knitting it right now. Go get one. Go add it to your Ravelry patterns at the least. And then you'll have it for after the holidays when you're done with your holiday knitting and all that stuff. So I think I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. I'm gonna do some thumb holes. I'm gonna watch some Vlogmas, catch up. And yeah, should be a pretty cozy night with my knitting and my Vlogmas and my tea. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I found my favorite hat. Okay, it's just the Insta Beanie. It's one of my designs. I'll link up below if you like, like, ribbed. It's not exactly ribbed. Okay, it's ribbed, but every other row is slipped. But anyway, this yarn is Chelsea Lux. It's the only yarn that I've ever ordered from her. I would love to have, like, an entire stash of Chelsea yarns and just knit with Chelsea yarns for the rest of my life. It's my vibe, it's my aesthetic, but I was able to afford this last year. And it's my favorite hat. I can't remember the name of it, um, but I did, I stashed it with my winter wear last year and I just pulled it out of the box. Yeah. I'm so excited. Look at my pom-pom, she's so cute. Anyway, I'm very happy. 
can't remember the name of the colorway, but it had something to do with her coop collection. I love her and her chickens, so I like had to find room in the budget for this yarn and I got it. And finding this beanie was just like, you know, that feeling of like when you know you got yarn coming in the mail and then you open the box and you see that it's even more beautiful than you imagined. That's the feeling when I found this beanie. I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll wear it tomorrow to the gym or something. And I'll show you guys in better light because y'all know this lighting ain't doing nothing, no justice. Okay, so I've made progress. Look at the yarn chicken. That's all I have left. <laughs> like when I pulled the, when I decided to use this pink yarn, I knew that I was gonna pl be playing yarn chicken, but like, not like that. Like, maybe I could have got three more rows out of that. And that's just on the thumb. That is wild. Two thumbs, two thumbs, and two thumbs. Still no thumbs. So, I'm gonna have to finish these up tomorrow morning because I am dying to go put my head on that pillow. I cannot crochet a Roseanne blanket tomorrow because Coda is off work tomorrow. So, I'm gonna have to bring that to work. Tomorrow is an eight hour shift at work, so I should have plenty of time to get the five done, plus maybe the five that I missed from today, unfortunately. And hopefully tomorrow I wake up 100% better, but we'll see. At least I won't be waking up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym. So if you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you here as part of the fam. If you have subscribed, we love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us for day seven yeah day seven of vlogmas i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas and the holiday season and we will see you in the morning for some coffee okay. merry christmas honey